This is Nick Jeffries here and we're standing outside our Chelsea project. Now we haven't been here since April so you're going to see a lot of big differences. Let's go in and take a look. Hello mate. Hello. Right we're on the ground floor and if you remember on this ground floor we had engineered oak flooring and uh, a really horrible handrail and it was like a solid plastered effect handrail going from top to bottom now that was all stripped back and that lets in so much more light throughout the whole building now and on the ground floor here we leveled all the joists we put underfloor heating down we put a scree to level it all off so it's nice and smooth ready for the new oak flooring and all the all the ceilings are being replastered and skimmed, all the walls replastered and skimmed. We've got first fix electrical, first fix plumbing. The fireplaces behind here, they've been refurbished. All the chimneys have been cleaned and refurbished. On this wall here, we have got secret speakers which have been hidden in. So behind here, we've got Speakers. We've got speakers in the ceiling and that will be operational through the cinema wall behind us here. So we've got a media wall here. We're going to have a massive TV. We've got best spoke joinery uh, across the wall there. And um, again, if you remember, this area here had a glass balustrade with a light well going down into the kitchen. So again, the client decided to fill this in because guess what? It makes more space, more square footage. And we don't need any more light going down to the basement because you've got a massive sliding door getting as much light in there as possible. Again, new air conditioning units at the top. Cast iron radiators throughout the whole property. They're best boat made to measure and uh, they're going to be painted in Farrow and Ball, which is going to be the same colour as the paint on the walls. If we come down. So the last time we were down here, the floor hadn't been done, all these mega flows, uh, uh, the water purifying system, the consumer unit weren't in, the glazing wasn't in, we've leveled all the ceilings, we've tiled all the floors, we've got the kitchen being installed next week, Pog and Pole, that's a £120,000 kitchen, that's coming in. We've got all the oak flooring, which is gonna be going in upstairs on the ground floor. This is gonna be stained pretty dark um, to the client's taste. The garden hasn't been started yet, but it's all prepared. This is gonna be kind of the last thing we do. Uh, we've got all the tiles here ready to go. But look at the difference. Everything has been changed. We've got some temporary lighting because when the client uh, as ordered the kitchen, they, they said we need some lighting. So we got a temporary lighting source. We've got all the AV and all the units will be going in here. So at the moment, it's like spaghetti junction. But as I said, everything's been changed. When we first got the contract, the contract was just a light refurbishment. Six or seven months later, we've literally stripped the pro property out We've replaced every single thing. All the floorboards, all the joists, electrical, plumbing, everything you can imagine has been kind of 10 x In here, obviously we've got um, WC downstairs, hasn't been touched at the moment, but the flooring's been done. We've got the door frames in, we've got bespoke doors going in there, which are gonna be made by, I think, Maverick Joinery. In here, we had a little bit of an issue with damp, but again, it's just been tanked. That's gonna be uh, plastered over and made good. So hopefully that's gonna be sorted. This is gonna be the cinema room stroke gym. Bespoke um, 
joinery here, glazed units from floor to ceiling, cast iron uh, Victorian radiator, plantation shutters at the front. Um, yeah, on the doors, we've got a uh, security door. So ground floor and lower ground floor, we've got two security doors going in. So the insides of the door are steel and the outsides are timber veneer. I think they're like 12,000 pounds each door, but highly secure. So we go up to the first floor. So everywhere's been plastered now, so you can see a massive difference. And again, if you notice, this was like solid handrails, plastered handrails. Now you can see from top to bottom. So they're gonna be uh, Victorian style spindles, spindles uh, iron with the French polished handrails. It's gonna look bloody amazing. The master bedroom. Um, again, uh, all the floors leveled, uh, underfloor heating. We got the um, uh, radiators going there, bespoke radiators. We've got plantation shutters on both of the, the, the doors. We've got, the client's got a couple of cats. We've got some uh, bespoke iron handrails going on the side, kind of like spiky things to stop the cats wandering over the balconies, disappearing. AC vent coming into the master. Here, we've created a, a new pocket door into the dressing area, walk-in wardrobe. So here, we've partnered up with a company called Andrew Martin. So he's gonna be our kind of joinery partner moving forward. So I uh, don't think uh, you actually know yet, but we do our own uh, in-house joinery, which is good. That is gonna be all in here. We got the AC units, which is gonna feed the master bedroom, which is gonna be ducted. And also it's gonna be ducted through here into the master en suite. So that's fine. That's cool, carry on, yeah. So I think, I think the joinery is coming in. So it's August the 7th, 8th today. And I think the joinery is starting to go in October. Finishing, yeah, first week of October here. So we've got the master en suite. So again, we've got the AC coming in. We've all the, it's all been tiled. Um, we've got a, a shower tray there, which is kind of mosaic tiles. Heated floors, heated walls. Um, we, re we replaced the shower head. That was just an old fashioned sort of shower head, but it was restricted height. So now that's gonna go in there. Um, we have had CP Heart do all the sanitary wear. The journey's been a little bit sort of um, traumatic because they send stuff, it hasn't been right, send it back, hasn't been right again. Bespoke cabinets, bath here. We've got a special skylight, which I don't think you've seen. This is LCD and heated. So if the client is here and they want some privacy, they can go bang and it goes frosted or clear. And the reason why it's heated is because uh, it stops condensation. So if you get condensation on the skylight and it drips down, it damages the plaster. So basically we've got the same tiles on the floor than we have them on the walls. All the sash windows throughout the house have been serviced. So new cords, new rails, new, um, new draft excluders. So the light here, that was a little like kind of balcony which led onto the roof terrace. 
That is gonna be now walk on glass. So you're gonna have a lot of light coming down here. Hello, Hello boss. Oh, We're filming, so keep, keep going. Keep going, Kinga. Um, so uh, this is Amin. Right. Obviously we met Amin before last time we were on site. And we've just been talking through about what we've been doing on the basement ground first. Cool, cool. And if you come up here, not much has changed. Well, if you come in here, actually, this is this is changed. You can have a look there. I think we I think we filmed this a long time ago, but now this is kind of completed. Again, we've got the heated LCD skylight. So again, if it's uh, if the client wants some more lighting, he can go bang and it goes clear. Uh, CP Heart sanitary wear. We've kept that same shower head. Um, even though it's, it restricts the pressure a little bit. A little bit of detail in there with the mosaic. Not much has changed in these bedrooms, but oh, it has changed actually, because fundamentally what we've done, we've uh, leveled all the joists, all the floorboards, uh, we've got the radiators in, all the windows have been serviced, and all they need now is to be painted. We've got the AC units in. So there's lot, lots been going on, but we haven't taken any videos because you don't really see a massive change. But I think now, three months later, you can see a big change. Um, up here, Go on. this is the amazing bit. So before this was a rail with a, uh, a, like a light well. Now that's been taken off. This is gonna be walk on glass. We've built all this up, because if you remember, the existing skylight was motorized. So when you come here, it went across underneath into the raised decking. So what we've done, changed it for a motorized skylight. So this is gonna be fixed here. And then this bit, which way is it gonna open up? That way or that way? It's gonna go open that way, yeah. So Amin's built all these staircase going up here. Because I think last time we did a video up here, this was just like the horrible decking, wasn't it? Yep. So we've obviously taken it all up. It's all, it's all been built up, waterproof, fiberglass. This is the LCD walk-on glass which needs to come up a little bit, so it's gonna be completely flush. So the client doesn't stamp the toes. Um, hello mate, you all right? Doing, mate? Yeah, not bad. So Amin, what he's done, he's built all this up. You've got, you've got drainage going around the whole perimeter of the, uh, of the roof terrace. Um, this guy here is doing the zinc. This is all gonna be clad in nice, beautiful, vintage looking zinc. Uh, the boys are just freshening knees up. Obviously, we've been here, we started the journey in December when we started stripping it out. It is now the first, second week in August. So it's coming together, but the project has, I think it's tripled in size. Um, I think, what, is, is that, you're trying to fly that now, am I? You're on the red zone. Ah. We don't fly. It's red zone. Really? So you're not no. allowed to? No, look. I'm trying to ask it's permission. It's very quiet though, isn't it? It is. I'm trying to ask permission. If they let us, we can otherwise. Yeah. So again, um, in the future, what we found out, there's 12 houses without any mansards. So there's a planning application going in for the whole group. And that means potentially the client may add a, a mansard, maybe up to about here, like a front mansard. Because if you, if you kind of look over there, these mansards over here, like these, they're, they're traditional mansards over here. Well, this hasn't got a mansard, this has got the roof, this has got a flat roof terrace. So for me personally, I would probably, you know, I, I prefer outside space. Um, but there's Amin playing, but that's, that's cool, isn't it? 
Yeah, I'm trying to get him permission. How'd you get permission? I'm going to request it. They're going to send me by text message. Jesus. So this is our little update. It's gone on for quite a long time. How long it's gone on for? 15 minutes. So I may chop this up into three or four little videos, but that gives you a good sort of insight of what's going on. What's that? I, I haven't signed off yet. Have you, have you still recording? So thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you want to follow us, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like and share, and we will see you on our next update, maybe in a month's time. See you later. Bye.